Hi, I'm Elizabeth at the Radford Public Library and I have a book uh, recommendation for you or maybe it's just a review and that it is for this book titled After the First Death by Robert Cormier. It is a teen book. It was published in 1979. It's a pretty tough read um, but Robert Cormier is an award-winning author and this title is taken from a Dylan Thomas poem uh, and that poem is a refusal to mourn the death by fire of a child in London. So um, the last two lines of that poem are after the first death there is no other and that's where this title comes from. Uh, this is a really intense teen book. It is about a school bus of children who are five and six years old and that school bus is hijacked by terrorists and it's told primarily from the point of view of three different teens involved in the events of this, uh, this event that happens over the span of maybe 36 hours, less than two days. And uh, those teens are one, the bus driver, who is a girl named Kate. She is driving the bus that day to fill in for her uncle who isn't well. The second is a boy named Ben. His father is a, a general who works with an anti-terrorist group and Ben becomes very involved in this event even though he's nowhere near the bus when this uh, hijacking occurs. And the third person is the terrorist. That terrorist is a teenager named Nero and his big job is to take out the bus driver. But in all the research that they did in preparing for this event uh, the bus driver was always an adult male and so of course he's not expecting uh, to see Kate who is this beautiful teen driving the bus. So there you have the three main characters. This is a story in which one of the narrators is not uh, reliable and I won't tell you who that is but it definitely adds to the depth and um, the heaviness of this story. Uh, it is a very interesting plot, a fast-paced plot. It's a story about innocence and innocence lost, about uh, courage, and also about fathers and sons. It's also about things that just um, that just happen because you're burdened uh, by them, uh, expectations perhaps, especially in the case of Ben and Miro, but perhaps also with Kate, um, the way these three end up uh, having their lives intersect is is really also quite intense. So again, the title is After the First Death, published in 1979. It is uh, published by Penguin, who is publishing these original series, which are teen books that are iconic, really quite classic, and this is definitely one of them. Having read it in my youth and now having reread it, I can I can see how it has such staying power and is written with such grace, although uh, the author is a pessimistic author, meaning in all of his books, he is not necessarily, um, well, he doesn't feel any pressure to make his protagonists successful in all of their endeavors, and so it can be quite hard to read his things because you're not always going to get a happy story, and it's really tough in parts. So. It's hard to recommend because I think it's a, it's a tough read. At the same time, I think it's an amazing book and I'm glad I got the chance to reread it uh, at a different time in my life. Uh, although I think it was probably harder the second time around. Anyway, After the First Death by Robert Cormier is something we have here on our shelves and we also have his other books, I Am the Cheese and The Chocolate War. And of course, there are plenty of other teen items or books in general if there's anything else that you'd like to check out this doesn't if this doesn't sound like something you want to read I completely understand I uh, will try to find something more cheerful to review next time thank you for listening and take care